Okay. Day two today. Uh, yesterday we we didn't have a lot of fishing yesterday because weather conditions was not ideal, and um, yeah, we had to we had to change strategies from playing top water. We had to change to spinner baiting, which is actually not my favorite game, but it was effective. We did catch a few fish yesterday. Now today is day two. It rained all morning uh, until about five o'clock in the morning just now, to the point when I woke up. And yeah, look at that. It's, just, it's a beautiful day today. It's really beautiful. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to put the Grandmaster Rods to test again. A new series of the fishing line held up pretty well yesterday, you know. I've heard stories of the black bass here uh, through the stuff, uh, thick vegetation. Held up pretty strong, that, that 50 pound line. Quite impressed. Very, very impressed. Impressed with the spinner bait as well, how he held up himself. Yeah, so today I'm really excited. I, I want to see some explosion today. I want to see some action. Uh, most importantly, I want to see how, how the rods hold up. Kau ready? Kau pun tak ready. Tak ready. Kasih kat Pak apa Pak Julius ya? Apa? Francis. Francis. Ah, kasih kat Pak Francis biar diikatkan. Pak Francis. Tahu pakai ini? Tidak. Tarik. Udah masuk mulut. Di bawah itu. Lepas. Angkat. Ya. Jangan pegang. Masa angkat jangan pegang lagi ya. Saya so, simpan di sini ya Bapak ya. Make it run, make it run, make it run. Yeah. Yeah. Good fish. You saw that? As he was coming, right? I didn't slow down. Instead I went fast. Why? So that the fish knows, you know? Uh, bait is running away. And it triggers an instinct. Boom, he doesn't think again. Not bad, probably a three kilo fish. And the Grandmaster rod. A lot of fight in it. Let this one go. And that was a good fish. He came and he came and he came. Huh? Got a part of one shot there and bomb, 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 bomb. Final take, right? We caught that one right there, right? I believe there should be more holding on right. Right? Right, that little island of vegetation right there.
Bapak Yosua, dari sini ke Papa Rob berapa lama? Sebentar aja ya. Ayo. Siakap, siakap, siakap. Kakap, kakap, kakap. Kakap. Ah, first fish, first fish. First fish. Give it that beautiful cake, huh? Give it, Whoa, 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 Sound pounds. Yeah. Caught on the Guerrero. That was the beauty of the Grandmaster, you know, a small fish. But he ran down vegetation, he didn't have struggled much, just pulled it out. Now let's go back to fishing. Oh. Just release some line. See, even if it was a small fish, it still locked up my line. It's much pressure they put, black bass. You know, it's, it's definitely a fish that everybody should, any angler should go out and fish. Should have at least fished, you know. The two fishes that really put tackle and your fishing ability, your mental strength, in my opinion, would be black bass and giant snakehead. Just two fish. Number one on my must catch fish. Just number one because they're just, just brutal. The way they the way they take lures is just brutal and then they, they literally show you no mercy. You know, that was a small fish, but you know if, if it was a bigger one. It make you look like an amateur. It will literally make you look like an amateur. You, know, you, you may have had like thousands of fishing hours, but that fish, is, like, you know, you ask any guy that would have fished this, you know, especially from the US. Like, to my buddies who came down last, last year, Scott and Corey, they fished it one time. And they're waiting to come back, actually. Because not much is known about the fish, you know? Not much is actually known about the fish. And not many anglers are willing to travel this far for the fish.
small one, huh? Oh shit, that was a nice one. Mundi. That was a good half day of fishing. He had a lot of blow ups, they were quite shy. Caught some fish. I hope the luck changes a little bit on the second half. You know, I really want the fish to be on the lure and not just slam it. Yes, it's nice to watch. Uh, on, any, on any other day, I would have enjoyed it. But not on a day when I want to test the rocks. So yeah, a little bit disappointed. We're gonna go back now, have lunch. And hopefully after lunch, we get some awesome fishing. Bapa udah sampai ke Manado? Belum. Belum ya harus ke Manado. Cewek-cewek Manado. Mantap, Bapak. Mudah-mudahan penghasilan bagus. Apa ya? Mudah-mudahan penghasilan bagus. Iya. Mana di Manado atau di sini? Manado. <laughs>
big guy, big guy, big guy. Tadi keluar bapak. Tadi keluar, keluar. Big guy, big guy. Ambil, 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 ambil Gimana ya turunnya aja ini bapak? Apa pendapat bapak? Bapak Hah? Bapaknya bapak ya, kita lanjut. Enggak, saya tanya nih, hujannya seperti di sana udah lebat ya? Di sana sudah lebat ya? Ya, ya? Ayo pulang, pulang, pulang. Cipan. So that's the end for day number two. A lot of casting today. There was a lot of casting. We went up. Uh, to the other lake. No, we, we actually we played on this lake first, and uh, yeah, the fish was not biting. Uh, they were quite quiet. You know, the, the water was very cold. We just had rain in the morning. Water was very cold. Like I think I combed through the first stretch. Did not get any strike. So the boatman said we go up, go up to the other lake. So we went up the other lake, and yeah, there was blow up of the blow up, but it didn't get hook up, which was quite frustrating. But it was it was exciting to watch those blow ups. I I enjoyed those blow ups personally. I really enjoyed that. I just hope that the fish would not miss the bait and hit it properly. Because, yeah, you know, I, I want to see the rod in action. I really want to see how the rod is performing. I've been casting the rod for two days now, two full days now. And, um, yeah, I, I love how the rod handles lures and um, how it loads up. And how many fish have we caught so far? 
five, six, I'm, I, I can't, I, I lost count. But yeah, from all that fish, though it was not, not that big, the fish was not, I wouldn't say really that big for, me, for it to be, really put that rod to test. But yeah, really hoping for more fish. You know, statistical data plays a lot of part um, when you're testing rods. So we didn't get that, but we had a lot of blow ups. I hope you guys enjoy watching those blow ups. In the second half in the afternoon, wind just started off crazy. We didn't get anything. We just had one fish. Nice blow up, but yeah, nothing really, nothing really uh, exciting. We're hoping to get more fish tomorrow and uh, hopefully the weather calms down a little bit. You know, the wind calms down and wind, the wind is the only problem, wind and the rain. But you can't control mother nature, that's fishing, huh? So yeah, let's hope for tomorrow, huh?